John Browning's first successful semi-automatic pistol wasn't made by Colt. It was produced by the great FN plant in Belgium. This model was also used to assassinate Austria's Archduke Ferdinand in 1914 in Sarajevo, thus starting World War I. Hi, I'm Larry Potterfield with Midway USA, and I've got an FN Browning Model 1900. Let's take a closer look at it. The magazine release is on the bottom of the grip. Just press it with your thumb and pull on the lip of the magazine. There's no magazine safety, which allows the gun to fire with the magazine removed. Now here's a cocking indicator. When it's up and in the line of sight, the pistol is not cocked. When it's down, it is. This is a single action, hammerless design. The magazine holds seven rounds. These are dummy cartridges. The slide doesn't lock open after the last shot, so it's necessary to pull it to the rear to chamber around. The thumb safety here shows SUR for safe and FEU for fire. These are French words, of course. We have a four inch barrel with fixed sights. Now the Model 1900 was actually introduced in 1899 with production continuing through 1912. They were chambered for the 32 ACP cartridge. Now field stripping this gun for cleaning requires the use of a screwdriver, which is quite unusual, but remember this was 1900. Let me show you how it's done. Remove the magazine, move the safety to the fire position, and pull the trigger. This releases the striker. Now remove these two screws that attach the breech block to the slide, move the slide forward and off the frame. The barrel is screwed directly into the frame and the recoil spring lifts right out so the breech bolt can come off from the rear. It's just as easy to put it all back together after cleaning. First put the breech block back into the frame, adjust the recoil spring, then slide on the slide. Now we can reinstall the two screws that hold it all together. Not too tough. Let's empty the magazine and make sure it functions. So there you have it, the FN Browning Model 1900. I'm Larry Potterfield with Midway USA, and that's the way it is.